For Uganda's coffee to pass the export standards mark for Sudan, compliance is a must fast. And for now, the Uganda Coffee Development Authority says Uganda has met all the new requirements ahead of the June 2018 deadline. Some of the issues that we are coming up uh, were indeed of biochemical nature, uh, ochratoxin, which is one of, the, uh, uh, one of the issues of concern in coffee, especially when it is not properly handled. Caffeine was one of those uh, biochemical issues that were of concern. Pesticides residues. We entered the MOU with the, uh, with the Uganda National Bureau of Standards, which are in charge of the sands in Uganda. And they have been moving to accredit our laboratory at Rugogo, in, uh, UCD laboratory in Rugogo, but also brought in other uh, private laboratories, notably Chemifa laboratories. Sudan raised a red flag a year ago and gave Uganda a two-year grace period to comply with its new standards of coffee exports or else lose the market. Yesterday, we visited some test lab. Even they accredited. They, therefore, we can kick two birds with one stone. No need for Christian uh, laboratory. If the laboratory from UNPS is accredited, therefore we need this certificate only for UNPS. Is. Therefore, we facilitate the trade. However, the challenges are still glaring in the coffee supply chain, with some farmers protesting the absence of agriculture officers. I don't know whether we can improve the quality from just on branches. I don't hear how far you have gone right from the grassroots. In September, coffee exports from Uganda to European Union countries totaled 217, 482 bags, compared to 295,590 bags exported last month. The European Union was followed by Sudan with 53,668 bags, compared to 460,514 bags the previous month. We are seeing again the rise in, in exports. Uh, and compared to the last quarter, yes, there is a slight drop. But that's also because of the, the fry crop that we, we experienced in the, in the central. But now we've seen a, the crop coming in in the fruitation. The 2016-2017 global production is estimated at 153.9 million bags, an increase of 1.5% from last year. The increase has been due to an increase in output from Indonesia, Uganda and Peru.